1.1 centimeters thin, weighing just 1.2 kg with a 14 inch 3K 120 hertz OLED display and powered by the latest Intel Core Ultra Series 2 Lunar Lake processors. This is the ASUS ZenBook S14 and I've partnered with ASUS to tell you all about it. Now inside the box, there is a 65 watt fast charge adapter supplied and then we have a separate box with the S14. You also get a pack with some paperwork. And here it is. The first thing we have to talk about is just how thin and light this is. It weighs just 1.2 kg and it's just 1.1 centimeters. Now you might remember that earlier this year we did cover the ZenBook S16 which is super slim and compact as well but that's a 16 inch laptop. This is 14 inches making it even more compact. So much so that this is the smallest if not one of the smallest footprints that you're going to find for a 14 inch laptop. Now despite it being super light and thin it is very durable. We've got military grade durability and ASUS use a material which they call ceruluminium. I can never say this word, ceruluminium, cer ceruluminum. As far as I understand, it's a combination of ceramic and aluminium. And we have this really nice texture, which almost feels like paper and it doesn't attract many fingerprints. We've got the Zumaya gray here, but it's also available in a Scandinavian white. Now let's see if it passes the all important one-handed test. It does. And this reveals the beautiful 14 inch 16 by 10 3K 120 Hz ASUS Lumia OLED touchscreen. Now this has a 100% DCI-P color gamut. It's Pantone validated. It has Visa Display HDR 500 True Black and it's got a 500 nit peak brightness. We've also got Dolby Vision supported, 1 million to 1 contrast ratio with a 0.2 millisecond response time. It's also very easy on the eyes. It's got a Tuve Ryland eye certification and it emits 70% less blue light than standard LCDs one of the best 14 inch laptop displays out there. But of course, you guys wanna know about what's under the hood. So this is powered by up to the Intel Core Ultra 9 processor series two, and this has an ultra compact system on a chip design. This reduces the motherboard size by 27%, and it also shortens the distance between the CPU and the memory, which gives you higher bandwidth and lower latency. We've got up to 48 tops for the NPU, which means that a lot of the AI processing will be able to happen on device, which will also make this more efficient. And you've got up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM and up to one terabyte PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD storage. Now, because the RAM is integrated, you're not gonna be able to upgrade that, but you will be able to easily upgrade the storage. We've got an ultra slim vapor chamber with dual fans and a bi-layer graphite sheet. And then we have the geometric grill design with 2,715 CNC cooling vents, similar to what we saw on the S16. Now, you guys may have already seen lots of Lunar Lake performance and benchmarks, my friend Tom the Tech Chap has actually done a very good and detailed comparison between lots of other laptops and he has many more laptops than me, show off. I'm gonna be leaving his video linked down in the description below, but in a nutshell, compared to the previous generation, we have higher single core performance, but we do have lower multi-core performance. However, Gaming is respectable with improved frame rates compared to the equivalents. And there is definitely a prioritization and emphasis on efficiency. In Tom's YouTube streaming test, there's a significant increase in battery life compared to the previous gen. The S14 also outperforms the AMD ZenBook S16 and you've got around 13 and a half hours of video playback, which is just behind the Surface laptop. Now, I think the key thing to remember here is that with the ZenBook S14, it is based on the x86 architecture, which means you're not gonna have any compatibility issues, which you may have on ARM-based devices. My personal usage mainly consists of web browsing with social media and watching videos, as well as scripting on Word documents and some light video editing. And with that usage, I've easily been able to get through the full day on a single charge. I'm not too much of a gamer. My friend Thunder E from Board at Work has done some gaming tests. I'll leave his video linked down in the description below so you can check out some frame rates of some popular games. I think this is really what makes the ZenBook S14 the ideal laptop for somebody that's on the go because it's so compact and light with its performance and efficiency. You won't need to carry your charger around. And although we do get the 65 watt fast charger supplied, 
This also supports USB-C Easy Charge, which means that it can be charged via a range of standard USB-C chargers, including airline chargers, portable chargers, or even power banks. The battery capacity is 72 hours and it pretty much takes the entire space within the laptop. And of course, it comes with Windows 11. So you are gonna be getting Windows Copilot. So you're gonna have your personal assistant. Personally speaking, I absolutely love live caption. It's so quick and accurate. You also have the Windows Studio Effects version two. And being an Asus laptop, it also comes with software features like Asus' Story Cube, which is gonna easily help you organize all of your different images and videos. Now remember, because of the NPU with 48 tops, a lot of these AI features will be processed on device. Now for the ports on the left-hand side, we have a full-size HDMI 2.1 port. I said this for the S16, but it is super impressive that ASUS's engineers have managed to fill in a full-size HDMI port on such a slim body. I wonder if they didn't have the HDMI 2.1 port, if they could make this even slimmer. We've got two Thunderbolt Type-C ports, so you can connect up to two external monitors. There's an audio combo jack, and on the right-hand side, we have a full-size USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port. Now, we don't have an SD card slot like we have on the S16. This is something that I would have liked, but I understand because of its compact nature. However, because both of the Thunderbolt USB Type-C ports are on the left-hand side, it would have been nice if one was on either side because when you are charging, then you can switch depending on your location and your preference. Although, because of how good the battery life is on here, you're probably only gonna be using this plugged in occasionally. We've got Wi-Fi 7 with Bluetooth 5.4. Now you will need a compatible router to be able to get high speeds, but if you do, you can get up to 4.8 times faster speeds than Wi-Fi 6. I don't have a Wi-Fi 7 router because even if I did with my speeds that I get here, it probably wouldn't be much use. We've got a full size backlit keyboard, which is really nice to type on. This is very similar to what we had on the S16. And for its size, we also have a relatively large touchpad. Now this touchpad also supports smart gestures. So you can swipe up and down on the right hand side to increase or decrease the brightness. You can swipe up and down on the left hand side to increase or decrease the volume. And you can swipe left and right on the top during video playback, which will skip forward or backwards. Now for the audio, this sounds very good, especially for its compact size. The speakers do get very loud, they're very clear. We've got four speakers certified by Harman Kardon with Dolby Atmos support. There's also a smart amplifier with ASUS's audio booster technology, and there is two-way AI noise cancellation for the mics. There is ASUS's AI Sense Full HD 3D NR IR camera, so Windows Hello is supported. And this also has 3D noise reduction technology. And finally for the price, so the ASUS ZenBook S14 is gonna be starting at 1500 pounds or $1,500 for the base configuration. Of course, for the different configurations, you will be paying more. I will be leaving a link down in the description below so you can see all of the latest pricing and availability. And that is the ASUS ZenBook S14, one of the most compact 14-inch laptops out there with a beautiful display and powered by the Intel Core Series 2 Lunar Lake processors, which means you're gonna be getting great battery life and no issues with compatibility. What do you think of the ASUS ZenBook S14? Drop me a comment below, let me know your thoughts. If you're interested in the S16, which I covered earlier this year, that video is gonna be linked here. Maybe you're interested in the ZenBook Duo with two screens. That video will be linked here. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future videos like this. And also do smash that like button for me. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.